Hey, this video is going to talk about how to create clones of sprites or objects, which is going to really help with some of the randomization of our game. So what we're going to do is we need to create a sprite or something that we want to create clones of. So for my game here, I'm going to create a, you know, something that I don't want my character to run into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a sprite. And this sprite is going to be a, let's see, this is going to be kind of like a cactus game. So I want to make myself a cactus here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to my paintbrush and I'm going to make it uh, thicker. So it's a much thicker kind of a cactus here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my pen and I am going to make myself a cactus. So this is going to be our cactus here. Now that cactus is, is a pretty good sized cactus, but that's going to be my cactus sprite. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our costumes or not in our costumes into the code for the cactus that I just created. And we're going to set up some, some things that we're going to do with it. So we want to start our game. So when the game starts, we're going to set this up now. There's lots of things that you can do here. You can, like you can start when your timer is going. I'm going to, we're just, for this purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how to get it in there. But you guys have already learned how to create your timers and how to create other things. We're just going to do when, when the green flag is clicked, when we start this. What we're going to do is I'm going to do a, uh, we're going to set up and do a forever block. And so we're going to just run this so that it goes forever. So under my control, I'm going to go in and I'm going to select a forever block. And inside my forever block, I'm going to set up how do we want to do this. So the whole purpose of this is we want to create random times that it's going to come and random times, random numbers of objects that are going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a wait. So we're going to have it wait. And so your typical your wait is wait one second. Right. But what we're going to do with inside our weight is we're going to drop in in our green operators. We're going to drop a random. So we're going to pick a random number of seconds to wait. Now, here's the thing that you need to consider with this is if you make your, your wait time too long. Right. Your game player is going to get bored. So I'm going to just do for right now, we'll just do one to five. So between one and five seconds, I'm going to pick a random number. So what's going to happen is when I run this, it picks a random number between one and five. It picks three, it waits three seconds. If it picks two, it waits two seconds. It picks one, so on and so forth. So after it waits that random amount of time, we are going to repeat a, again, a random number of times. So instead of repeating 10 times, because what we're trying to do is we don't want our game to be predictable. So we don't want to have it where if I do repeat 10 times, it's always going to make 10 clones of my cactus. So we want to make a random number of clones as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and pick a random again. So pick a random again. So I'm going to pick a random and we'll do one to four. Because we don't want to know what we're going to do here is we're creating this is I'm creating a bad guy. So you could do the same thing to create like a health cube to create a, a pizza piece to regenerate health or whatever it is that you've got. We can create. So you have to decide, do I want a bunch of these to come in? You pick bigger random numbers. Then you can have, you know, I can have up to four of my cactus come in at one time. I can make it pick random. I get 15 cactus coming in. But how am I going to avoid or do that? So right now, I'm just going to make it so it's going to pick a random between one and four. And then what we're going to do is under our uh, control blocks towards the bottom, I'm going to introduce you to a new block called create clone. And it's going to be right at the bottom. And we're going to do create a clone of. Now, because I'm in my new sprite, that sprite one, which is my cactus sprite, I'm going to rename this cacti. Cact cacti. So this is going to be my cacti, this is cacti sprite, right? But we're going to, if you're in this, if you do create a clone of myself, it's going to create a clone of that sprite. But I could, if I'm coding somewhere else, I can create a clone of Giga Walking or my backdrop one or backdrop two. So I'm going to create a clone of, of the cactus. So I'm going to create a clone of the cactus. And then what I want to do is 
we don't want to make all of the clones at the exact same time. So I'm going to put a wait time in here. And this is going to be how long do I want to wait before I make each clone come in. And so what I'm going to do is let's wait point. Let's wait point. Uh, point five seconds. So let's do let's uh, you know what? Let's wait one second. We'll wait one second to start it off to see what it does. OK, now we're not done yet. You know, if we if I hit the start button, it'll just keep creating the clones and, and making the clones of where we're at. What we want to do first is I want to we want to say, OK, so now we're going to create these clones. OK, but what do we want to do with these clones? So now what we're going to do is under the same control block, we have a new when I receive clone or when I start as a clone. So what we're going to do is start it as a clone now. So once we've got our, we need to set up and do where we're going to, uh, what we're going to do with our clone once we create it. So we're going to go in to when I start as a clone. So this is going to be for our cactus sprite. What happens when it starts as a clone? So the first thing we want to do is, where do we want this clone to show up? So what we're going to do is we're going to have it say, okay, I want to have it go to a certain position, right? And so you can, I'm going to drag this in and I can move my cactus. Okay, I want my cactus to start over here. So it's going to start at 206, negative 7Y. So I'm going to start it at 206 and Y negative seven. Now you pick where you're going to start your clone at. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to show our clone. Okay. So we want our clone to be seen. Now this is, I'm going to make, this is going to make sense to us here in a second, because what we're going to do is under our looks is I'm going to show it. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say show. Now, the reason we want to do that is because our original one, we don't want to start with this sprite here. So my original cactus, I'm actually going to hit here to hide it. So my original cactus is hidden. So that's why when we put the show in here, it's going to show just the clones. Okay. And so then what we're going to do is we can do our change X by five by minus five. So we're going to move it. Right. So we're going to start our moving here. Oh, do my motion. And I'm going to do my change X by and you have to decide which way are you having it go. So I'm gonna have it go change my X by negative five. Okay, so now when I hit my start button, here's where we're going, right? So it picks a random number and then it's going to generate some clones for us. And then those clones are gonna, oh, my X didn't go because I need to put in my repeat forever to get it going. So. What I, I it did, it changed my X value just by five, but I'm going to repeat my forever. Now, here's what we've got here, right? We're going to make a couple of changes here. So I'm going to just do this just to show you for right now as a repeat forever, just to show you kind of what this is doing, right? And so we're going to make a couple changes here. So now my sprites, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to start it now. So now... It's going to generate my cactus and it's going to start moving my cactus. So as I'm going through here, now here's what's happening. Look what's happening. All my cactus are stacking up at the end. We don't want our cactus to stack up the end or whatever your whatever it is. We want to get rid of it when it gets to that edge. So instead of doing a repeat forever, we're going to take this. We're going to stop this and take this repeat forever loop out. And we're going to put in a repeat until. Okay, so what we want to do is do a repeat until. So I am going to do a repeat until, and I'm going to put in my forever, put my change X by five. Now, remember, when you change your, your coordinate, either your X or your Y, that's the speed. So if I want to make it go slower, I could change my X by negative three. So that's going to make it move to the left. Now, I'm going to repeat until what? And I want to repeat it until I get to this edge, until I touch the edge. So I'm going to do my sensing and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go repeat until touching, repeat until touching the edge. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to say we're going to repeat until it's touching the edge. We're going to have the uh, we're going to go to the X by itself. And then what we're going to do is when I'm done with that clone, we're going to just say, OK, we're, we're done with that clone. So then I'm going to go back up into here to my control and I'm going to say I want to delete that clone. So I'm going to delete this clone. So I'm going to go under my control block and I'm going to say delete this clone. OK, so it's going to go till it gets the edge. So now when I run my game, it's going to create my sprite. So I've got one cactus for that first time. And here it comes. And when it touches the edge, it disappears. There we go. So now my clones are disappearing. Now what you can do is you can change how many are coming in. What's the randomness? Look, that one created three of them. Do I need to have a little more space between them? So you can set up and create. Now, one of the other things that I can do is, so my cactus is pretty big. So what I might want to do is set the size of my, of my bad guy, because this is going to be a jumping game. Or maybe you're making a shooting game, right? So mine's going to be a jumping game. So I want to make sure that my cactus is a little smaller. So I'm going to set my size to 20%. So these are going to be mini cactus, right? So then I hit start. And we get going here. Let's see what my new cactus look like coming through. There's my mini cactus. Now it might be too small, right? That's those those cactus are too small. And obviously I'd want to change my XY coordinate some. Let's make them to 40%. Right. And you can play around with all those things to create your clones. And so obviously then I would want to set up and change. We got my there's a good size. That's a pretty good size cactus. But what I would want to do is change my y value to bring it down further so make my y let's make it negative 50 to put put it down there a little bit further and let's see what happens to my cactus now if i drop my y value down to where we start it here come my cactus there it is so now i got cactus coming through that i can jump over or do things that i want to do with them I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to get rid of them, collect them. And you can do this with any kind of sprite. And how often do you want to do it? Um, all through your wait time and the randomness. The longer your wait time, the less that you come in. So you can have between one and 10 seconds, you generate one health cube. So you might not see another health cube for 10 seconds. So maybe you got to survive until you can get to that. So this is how you create and use clones.